Hi guys, it's Irit with a new process video and I also have a new microphone so I'm really really hoping the sound will be a bit better. Um, yeah, I am using the February like forever kit and um, I showed this kit in a haul video. It has a lot a lot a lot of the crate paper kiss kiss collection. Um, which is just gorgeous and I thought it was fitting to scrapbook my husband <laughs> for once. <laughs> um, no, I would love to uh, make more layouts about him but I know he's quite... Um, he's not a huge fan of all the YouTube, Facebook sharing stuff so um, yeah, so I feel kind of like I feel like it's not my like I don't have a right to share uh, details about him um, if he ever wants to narrate <laughs> my video about him then he's uh, welcome to um, but yeah so I'm just uh, playing with stuff from the kit I think I think everything I used on this layout no, I think there are a couple of stickers that I brought from um, the Maggie Holmes open book collection. Um, just because I felt like I need a, a couple more things, but um, everything else is from the kit. And a quick tip that I've mentioned before, uh, but I'll say it again, is um, if you're using a kit or a collection, and you feel like you need more stuff, um, my first go-to would be other collections from the same company um, because chances are that the styles go uh, really well together. My problem is usually that I have this um, issue, problem, <laughs> obsession, whatever you want to call it, with um, color matching. So. <laughs> Um, a lot of the times it's uh, challenging for me to uh, combine things because I like them to match. Um, but yeah, I managed to find a couple of little stickers that uh, went with my color scheme, probably because they were just like cream and gold. So um, that was that. And this is one of my favorite um, like go-to designs, um, which uses strips of pattern paper and yes it was really hard to cut into those 12 by 12 um, but I cut into only I think three um, because yeah I'm saving saving papers <laughs> for <laughs> backgrounds and other things uh, I'm sure some of you do that as well um, yeah but um, it's it's a combination of saving papers for you know backgrounds and not wanting to have scraps. Um, I really am trying to fight um, having scraps. Um, yeah, well, right now I'm not in a very good place on my, um, in my table and scrapbooking area because it's getting so full of piles and piles and piles and I really have to um, go through it and just get rid of the tiny scraps so yeah so the fun part after i um cut those strips of paper uh were was to match the embellishments and yeah i just really love to color match it's really fun so i'm using a lot of the chipboard accents and a couple of pieces from the tags like these embellished tags or whatever um and yeah, and that's kind of it. I really recommend trying this design when uh, starting with a kit or um, if you're having a little bit trouble with uh, embellishments, just grab like a paper pad or, you know, a few papers from the same collection or kit and uh, embellishment pack like a die cut package or a chipboard and yeah try and use them like this it's really easy and i think what i like about the final look is that 
you know, I can use a lot of embellishments, but because they are concentrated on just, you know, that one third of the page, um, for my taste, it doesn't look too busy. And um, I really like how it looks. And I do this a lot. And with different products, it looks completely different. So, you know, you can and you can have like so many variations. You can use border punches and you can add layers of vellum and, um, you know, use chipboard or die cuts or all of them and stickers. It's just like a really, really, really versatile design. Um, other than that, I will try to post this. I'm recording this on 28th of February. It's Saturday uh, evening and I'll try to upload this today or tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm also editing my HipKit videos and I'm very excited because this week uh, my first post on the Faber-Castell um, blog should be up, hopefully. So I'm excited about that and that will be on the 3rd of March. So um, yeah, check that out. And that's it. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.